If you're just joining us right now, take a look at this right here. The moment a building hit the ground in D.C. Yeah, wow. this happened on Kennedy Street in Northwest D.C. It just takes your breath away yeah. when you look at it. This was just before 3.30 this afternoon. One person was trapped under all of that, and four others were brought to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. We're taking a deeper look at what really happened here. Yeah, joining us right now is Dr. Chung Fu, a professor of civil, civil and environmental engineering at the University of Maryland. Dr. Fu, thank you for being here with us. Uh, first yes. up, it seems like a building under construction like this, even with severe weather at the time, should have been able to withstand uh, that weather, yeah? That, that's correct, because the building itself is supposed to get a working permit, and once you get a working permit, you follow the procedures. Everything's supposed to be uh, standing fine. What do you think the factors are that could have caused the building to come down? I mean, we looked at the weather, and people are wondering if the wind and the rain had something to do with it, but uh, outside of that, what else could have contributed? Okay, uh, because I didn't have a chance to look at all the construction uh, procedures, everything else. So basically, I only can uh, visualize it from your videos here. It looks, uh, if you want me to describe in one word, I would say improper bracing. What does that mean? Bracing, that means uh, when the structure and the constructions, you're supposed to brace that up. So uh, uh, the uh, vertical walls will be staying vertical. Uh, the floor will stay flat, and it was uh, the whole structures will be in stable condition. Well, you wonder what kind of precautions will be taken to keep this kind mm -hmm. of thing from happening because, Dr. Chung, we heard the word pancaking, and while it's not the scope of what happened in Surfside, it certainly gets people's attention. That's correct, because uh, Pancake, you can consider if it's a concrete floor and the people underneath were not taking it. This time it's getting uh, lucky and uh, because it's a wood frame structures, it has a lot of void under, underneath. So you have a pocket mm -hmm. and people can hide inside the pocket without being crushed. So that's what I, was, I see now. And it seems that it, there's no casualties. Yeah, we've been watching this all afternoon. To us, it's just a pile of rubble, so we certainly needed your additional expertise tonight, Dr. Fu. With the University of Maryland, thank you so much for your time tonight. That's good. Thank you.